Okay, the next panel we're going to show you how to remove is your dash panel. It's the one with all your switches, your key, everything in there. I'm going to show you how to remove that. It's actually pretty easy. Um, the only tool you need for that is a six millimeter Allen wrench. So I use a uh, Allen socket. It's just easier. If you don't have that, you can use a regular Allen wrench. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do, and I have this in some of the other videos as well, but the first thing you're going to want to do is just remove this panel. So you just hook your fingers and pull that off. It pops right off. The reason you do that is because down in here you have two Allen screws. That's what you need the Allen wrench for. The other panel you're going to want to remove is your dash panel, or your uh, gauge panel, I should say. And the same thing, I have that in other videos to see how you remove it, so you can get kind of the details on how to do that and the tips I give you. You just want to pop that out, set that aside, um, and again, the reason we want to do that, and I'll show you here, is there's two uh, Allen bolts up in there you want to take out. So we'll take those bolts out, and then I'll show you how it, how it uh, comes out. On this one here, be careful, there's a wire on it. So you want to make sure that the terminal doesn't spin with the bolt. If it does, the, uh, you can twist the wire off and break the wire. And these bolts come out really easy. They're not in there hard at all. And again, when you tighten them up, when you go to put it back together, um, don't crank the thing super tight. You'll break the stuff. So just put them in you know, tight enough. You can tell when you're taking them out. You might say, why do I ever want to take that panel off? Well, sometimes, uh, you know, if something breaks, a wire breaks or a switch quits working, that, that would be one reason you can take this apart yourself. It's, it's not hard, so uh, you can save yourself some money. Another reason a lot of guys paint this the same color as their bike, um, you know, just to give you that custom look. If you wanted to add a switch, you know, a toggle switch for something, whatever, um, you know, this is how you take it off and you, um, uh, so you can drill the holes. You want to take your key out, pull the bezel out around the key, just get it loose. Just, this thing just lifts up and you kind of, you can see you kind of squeeze the tabs when it's in there. You kind of squeeze the tabs here a little bit and pop that out. So that basically gets this panel loose. Now we have another bolt here. I'm just kind of get this up to show you. You have another real small bolt here, and there's one on this side. I'll try to show you that one on this other side here. There's a bolt, if you can see it, it is right there. That bolt has to come out too. By the way, this is a four millimeter Allen wrench. So again, I just use a socket, but Allen wrench works fine. If you plan on ever doing a lot of work on these bikes, uh, any victory for that matter, it's, it's a good idea to get yourself some of these Allen sockets. You can get them cheap at Harbor Freight. You don't need really good ones, you can get them. And uh, they make, a, it make stuff a lot faster for you. So that's basically it. You, you get your panel loose here, and then you'll see underneath You'll see the various connectors, uh, you know, so you can take off whatever you want to take off. The various connectors here, um, they just simply, you push them, squeeze them, and pull them off. There's one down here. You take all that wiring off, and that will allow you to get your panel, um, you can get this panel out of the way and, and do whatever you want uh, to paint it. So that's, that's a real easy way, just to give you kind of a peek down in here. Here's your ignition switch. Um, it just bolts on. You have some cables down in there. So if you ever had a problem with your ignition switch, there's a cable here. 
uh, you got to kind of do that but I'll show you at a later time how to change that but right now we're just showing you the panels so that's a real easy step the other reason that you want to get this out of the way is if you ever want to change your handlebars your handlebar bolts are right here so you have to get that out of the way to be able to get down into the handlebars so that's another big reason um, why you want to get that and get that panel out of the way so that's that for that you would just replace it the same way uh, and we'll show you that